So now we have a question from the 2023 uh, J mains, which is which is a really interesting one. See, this question, although this is statement based, I would say this: if if you can answer these five options, uh, you know, if if you can um, analyze these five statements correctly, it implies that you have covered the con uh, the concepts in work only work, okay, not energy and power, only work really well, okay. So uh, it it will it will make sure that you have understood uh, all the dimensions of the topic work. So let us first take the first statement here, which says, "Work done by a man in lifting a bucket out of a well by means of a by means of a rope tied to the bucket is negative." Is negative. Let us analyze the statement. Well, actually, the question is to find out the correct statements. Uh, we'll try to do uh, the analysis for every statement here. Now, let us first visualize the condition. So we have the ground level here, it's well containing water. There's a man standing here. He has a rope, which is uh, hooked to the uh, to the bucket, and he's lifting it up, right? Now, if you isolate this bucket here, if you isolate this bucket here, the first force acting on this bucket would be force of gravity, which would be mg acting downwards. The second would be the second would be tension in the rope. Which is acting, which is acting upwards, right? And there is an external force by the man, which is by which he is pulling this bucket upwards. And what is the overall displacement here? When the object is being pulled upwards, we can say that the overall displacement is along the upward direction, right? Like this. So, force given by the man is actually acting upwards, right? Displacement of the bucket, which is this, is also acting upwards because the bucket is going up. Therefore, angle between these two, that is, angle between the vector which represents force and angle and the vector which represents displacement of the bucket is zero degree. Now, what is work done by the man? It is force of man into displacement of, uh, sorry, force of man vector dot displacement vector. Now, what is F dot S? It means magnitude of F into displacement. Maybe I should use, right? So, magnitude of force, um, force of man times displacement times cos theta. What is theta? Zero. So, what is cos zero? One. So this value W of man is actually positive. Therefore, statement one is wrong. Statement one is wrong. Okay. Now let's go to the second question. Uh, sorry, the second statement. Work done by the gravitational force in lifting a bucket out of a well by a rope tied to the bucket is negative. Let's see. Man on the ground, well water rope bucket pulled up so man is pulling this bucket up tension is acting upwards weight of the bucket is acting downwards net displacement net displacement of this bucket is in the net displacement of the bucket is in the upward direction whereas weight is acting downwards Therefore, angle between these two vectors is theta is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, what is work done by gravity is equal to vector of force of gravity dot displacement vector. What is F dot S? F dot S means magnitude of F, which is, which is the weight itself, that is mg, times displacement S times cos theta. What is cos theta? Cos theta is minus 1. Why? Because theta is 180. Therefore, cos theta is therefore cos theta is cos 180. What is cos 180? Cos 180 is minus 1. Therefore, this becomes mgs into minus 1. Therefore, in this case, the work done is said to be negative is a correct statement. Right? So, 1 is wrong and 2 is correct. Now let us see the third statement. Really interesting one. 
work done by friction on a body sliding down an inclined plane is positive. Let's say this. So we have an inclined plane here at angle theta. An object is plus, uh, and a block is plus, uh, kept here. What are the various forces acting on the block? The first force acting on the block would definitely be the the weight which is acting downwards. This weight can be resolved into two components: one which is mg sine theta acting parallel to the plane, and the other which is mg cos theta acting perpendicular to it. Right? And we know that during the sliding motion, the mg cos theta component doesn't play a role. It is only the mg sine theta component which is pushing this block downwards. Since this block is coming downwards, we have mg sine theta along the LHS. Sorry, along the left hand, uh, the along the plane sliding downwards. The only force which is acting opposing to this is the frictional force Fr. And what is the net direction of motion? The net direction of motion is downwards. Why? Because the object is sliding down. Now, if you analyze the forces here, the force acting due to friction is acting in the direction which is opposing the motion. So opposing the motion is down the plane, friction is acting against the slope, which means the angle between these two vectors here would be theta is equal to 180 degree, which means cos theta in this case is negative 1. What is work done by friction? Force of friction dot displacement. What is F dot S? Force magnitude of F, which is FR into magnitude of s which is s into cos theta what is cos theta minus 1 therefore force the work done by friction would also be would also be negative so this option first option was wrong second option is correct third option c is wrong as well now let's move on to question number sorry uh, option number d So option number D says, work done by an applied force on a body moving on a rough horizontal plane with uniform velocity is zero. Okay, let's see. So we have an object, block of mass M. It is moving on a rough surface. If the net direction of motion is towards the right, then what would the direction of friction? Friction would be acting against against the direction of motion. So against the direction of motion which means against right which means friction would act towards the left f applied is acting towards the right okay so what is work done by f applied work done by f applied is equal to force vector dot displacement vector what is f dot s magnitude of f which is f app into this magnitude of displacement vector which is s into cos theta where theta is the angle between the force vector and the displacement vector now work done by an applied force on a moving body okay this is work done by a applied force so there is a small mistake here my bad so work done by the f applied has to be represented by f applied is moving like this right and the net displacement towards the right, displacement vector is also towards the right. And what is the angle between these two vectors now? The angle between these two vectors is theta is equal to 0 degree. And therefore, what is the value of cos theta? It is cos 0, which is equal to 1. Therefore, cos theta here would be equal to 1. Therefore, work done by applied force should be equal to a value that is positive. Okay. So we can say that the first option was wrong second is correct third is wrong is zero is not it is not definitely not zero it is positive one now moving on to statement e so when we compare the last statement if you analyze the motion of a pendulum here b is the mean position the pendulum will first swing to a the extreme position on the right it will make its way to b and then to c the extreme position on the left for ease of uh, you know analysis, I will take the motion only at A. Okay, so this represents motion at A. Now what happens at A? At A, the 
the various forces acting on the body on the bob here is one tension which is acting away from the body along the string right second okay there's a minor mistake here in the diagram see the displacement vector this will be a circular motion here right yeah and what we need to understand is the displacement vector would always be okay let, let me just uh, now i'll draw the forces so weight of the body is acting downwards yes we know now how will the displacement vector be the displacement vector will be perpendicular to the or will be in a tangential direction the displacement vector will be in a tangential direction when you compare that of a linear motion right so here the displacement vector will be tangential to this point and therefore how will the friction acting friction will be acting against it like this right in which case in which case if this represents the if this represents the displacement what is angle between them definitely the angle between them is 180 degrees and therefore what is cos theta cos theta will be cos 180 which is equal to fs into minus 1 and therefore work done by air resistance here would be work done by air resistance here would be negative okay so yeah so that's with the question so um, you know every every almost every uh, statement in this question is asking is checking your concepts on number 1 whether you know the formula for work done in the vector form number 2 are you able to analyze the the displacement vectors and the force vectors correctly okay so so yeah that's up with this question let's move on to the next one now